Hi guys, this is Tash. Today is Mania the Second, and today I'll be working on one of my existing whips, which is Autumn Lace by Hazel Blomkamp. As you can see the picture here, and this is the book it came from, Cruel Twists. Uh, this book is super awesome, and I think at the end I might give you a little, little flick through of some of the other stuff, because there's so many pretty things in here. Oh my god! Um, at the end. So, this is the book it came from. Here is my progress so far. Very impressive, right? This design is a needle lace design, and you can see I've been doing a little bit of lace. Um, the last time I worked on this was... I start, well, I started this in 2012 at Bidding Around the Bush, and I actually did a class with Hazel, and she taught this pattern, and she gave us, um, you know, a little piece of fabric to practice some needle laces on, and some you know, padded stitches and so on, and, you know, obviously some threads to practice with. It was a great class, it was so good. Hazel was fantastic, so much fun. Um, really knowledgeable, I learned a lot. And so it all, we got the whole kit, we got threads and more threads. This is special dentels and more threads and more threads and satin threads and a bunch of beads. And a bunch of needles. Look at all of these needles. All of these needles are used in the making of this design. It's amazing. Um, so, yeah. This is the design. It comes printed on a piece of fabric. And, yeah. I have a lot of work to do on this. I've only done such a tiny amount. Um, according to the book, the next part I have to do... Let's get the book out. So, the instructions, you know, you've got your supply page. I've got notes scribbled all over it where Hazel told us how to do things. Um, the next part I have to do after doing the needle lace on these two is do a whipped chain stitch um, between the two parts of needle lace and then attach beads between the whipped chain stitch. And then down here do a chain stitch padding, then do buttonhole stitch over the chain stitch padding and then do a long stitch between each buttonhole stitch and then another whipped chain stitch between this padded part and the lace. Uh, so that's what I'll be working on tonight. Um, I doubt, well, I might get all of that done tonight, but I doubt it because I'm pretty slow. The hard part of doing mania like this, one different project today, is that, look, how pretty is that? These little, oh, I already did one of those. There, see? And that's just a little, oh, let me get out of the light, little satin stitch surrounded by beads. And they go at the top of the flower there. Yeah, the hard part about Mania doing one project for one day is that it would take me quite a while to even get my head around where I'm up to with this and get used to doing this kind of stitching again. Um, this is a linen, but you don't stitch in the holes. It's probably not an even weave. And it's backed with plain old calico and sewn together. Um, so the backing fabric just provides some stability. Um, yeah, so I'm... I, it's really weird. I'm not really going to get my head into this too far, just stitching on it for one night. And I also don't have a lot of stitching time tonight because um, Tim's been sick and we're having an early night. So yeah, this is what I'm working on tonight. Um, I'll, have, I'll give you a little quick look through the book. Cruel Twists by Hazel Blomkamp. Um, I'll just show you the projects that are in the book. Um, so in the beginning, she's got all these stitch diagrams for like the needle lace, for some of the ways she attaches beads, um, some of the specialty stitches she uses, some of the padding stitches she uses. Um, there's some beautiful photography in this book. Check, that's the one I'm doing. Um, so the projects that are in the book, well, this is gorgeous, this one. This is called Bountiful Season. And I really like it. I love these parts. Right? That's cool, isn't it? Um, there it is. Looks great on the footstool. Yeah, I love this. Um, then we've also got this. It's very pretty, right? I think this is called Just Jacobean. Yep, there it is. And I actually have the kit for this over here. I bought this kit when I went to Bidding Around the Bush as well. Uh, there it is. And so the design is printed on the fabric and I've got all the DMC threads and the bead pack. Actually, I think they're anchor threads. 
Let's let's get them out. Excuse me, I'm sorry, it's hard doing this with one hand. Yeah, they're anchor threads. Really pretty colours. Oh, it's lovely. Really nice colours. Bouquet of colours and beads. So that'll be fun. I would love to do all of these hazel designs, but it's not going to happen anytime soon. It's going to take me a really long time to finish um, Autumn Lace. Jacobean Tangle. So the last two are sort of classic Jacobean patterns with some of the, the sort of woven cross hatching that we saw. The middle two, this one and the one I'm doing are needle lace patterns. You can see the little lacy parts on this. Um, God, look at that picture. Amazing, right? Amazing. Um, and then the first two are beaded, heavily beaded patterns. Um, so we've got Midnight Meander. This was another class I could have taken when I was in Adelaide at Beating Around the Bush, um, but I didn't. And this is the first one in the book, and it's a it's a fireplace screen. Uh, where is it? The photography in these books are amazing. Spring trellis. No, I wouldn't say that was springy, actually. I would have called it maybe fall. Anyway. And then I'm also going to, just for you who care, if you don't care, you can leave, of course. Cruel Intentions. This is Hazel's second book. Um, when I went to Bidding Around the Bush in 2014, she was teaching from this book. But I didn't do a class from her for some dumb reason. Um, I did do good classes, but I do wish I'd done her class again. Hazel is a fantastic teacher. If you ever get the opportunity, take a class with her. She's so fun. Um, let's go from the back again because it's easier for me to flick through with one hand. Inflorescence. That's pretty. Oh, it's done on silk dupion. Look at that. Ah, uh, next. Oh gosh, I love these. These are Swarovski flat crystals and they're sort of... Um, you do like a... It might be a buttonhole stitch around it to attach them to the fabric and they look like grapes. It's amazing, right? Great photography again in this book. There we go. Late harvest. Oh yeah, that's right. And this one, she had the model there. She had the model of all of these. Um, and you can see that the leaves are actually raised, like stump work, attached with wire. Um, yeah, it's very dimensional and impressive in person. I don't think I'd ever stitch that one though. Looks too hard for me. Oh, this one I'm not a massive fan of. It's a clock. V Viesna Prishla. <laughs> Viesna Prishla. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly at all. I don't like the colours in that one. It doesn't, doesn't grab me. Oh, this one. I love this one. The first sip. Isn't it so pretty? Right? So, um, in the first book, the Hazel's big thing was the needle lace. In this one, her big thing is this woven woven um, techniques she's teaching. I love this. Um, she has another another all cream one, Dancing Threads. Very pretty, right? See, this one is much smaller. Uh, it has a little needle lace, a little of the woven stuff. This would have been a much better piece to start with, but it wasn't out when I started and it's too late now. <laughs> I've already started Autumn Lace, so that's what I'm working on. Um, there's two more in here, I think. Oh, this is the one I'm dying over. Pertinacity. Look at that. How pretty is this? I love this effect she gets in this leaf. Let's see how close I can zoom in. It looks like there's a thick thread, a, th a really fat thread, and it's just couched down in little wiggles. I don't know if that's exactly what she's done, but that's what it looks like to me. Really nice. I'd love to get the kit for that one. And this one. This one's pretty too. Let's get to the picture. A sherry for Jack. I think my mum has the kit for this one. I love these this part in the flower. Love it. Love it. Anyway, so that is all for this book. And again, amazing... <coughs> sorry, amazing instructions, amazing photography, cruel intentions. And if you're interested, you can go to Hazel's website, hazelblomcap.co.za. <coughs> And you can buy kits from for all of the designs from her books. So this first, <clears throat> and the prices are pretty reasonable. Autumn Lace says 731 Rand, um, which is about $55 US. I looked it up, about $70 Australian, and that's for the full kit. You can also just buy the bead pack. You can just buy the printed fabric. 
you can just buy the specialty threads whatever you want um so yeah if you're interested check that out i hope you have a great mania the second and i'll see you tomorrow bye